doing the live thing. Doing the doing the streaming. Look at me doing the streaming. I hope my mic is okay. I am sleepy and I'm not doing important things. And it's been kind of a week. It's been a week. And I'm I'm tired. And I want to do sleeping, but I probably wouldn't be able to. So instead, we're going to stream some art. And we're going to stream some art because, um, because I like art. And I like streaming. And I haven't gotten to do very much of that recently. Let's make sure everything's working. Oh, it worked. I gotta redo my icons. I gotta redo my icons. That's okay. Let's turn the music up a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna be talking much this stream. I just wanna draw. I just wanna draw. And I think that's what we're gonna be doing. I hope you're doing well. There we go. Am I visible now? I am. I hope you're having a good week. I don't know what I'm putting. I've put like a whole list of things. Maybe I've been working on the chat PNG tuber. That was a reference. Maybe we're gonna draw that. This is a stream ending screen I've started to get started on. Let's turn the music down a little bit. There we go. Is that okay? There we go. Whoops. There we go. That should be good. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. <laughs> Hi, Jack. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. I've got my, my, these guys all set up. I've got potential. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll start drawing this. I don't know. We could work on, since I've got the PNG tuber, we could work on prokaryotes, full body, more details. I don't know. Stream ending. This is a little bit hard. I don't really want to do this on stream, but it's going to be fully am animated, I hope. Um, I've never actually done animation, though. <laughs> Hi, Mid. Yeah. Doing an art stream. I'm very tired, and I've... I wasn't up for... I wasn't up for, like, other things, but I haven't streamed in so long. Gotta make sure I still know how, you know? Animation? Yeah, this one. This one's gonna be... Where to go? This one, this is going to be animated. So I want this to breathe very slowly. So this will be going up and down. Um, and then the ear is going to flick every now and then. And the tail is going to swish back and forth. Um, the tail is what I'm having a lot of trouble with, though. Because, like, okay, are we going to, are we going to swish this way? Where are we going to swish? I don't know. Um, I, ho I hope it's cool. I don't actually fully know what I'm going to be doing, though. Um, I have most of the stuff I just need to keyframe it and I don't I don't know how to do that. The breathing I'm actually not super sure. I think it's just gonna go up and down ever so slightly. <laughs> I, I hope so. I really hope so Jack. Um, but I think this will be a cute stream ending screen because um, I, I hate that I just kind of have to have my screen super boring while um, I'm looking for people to raid or whatever. So this is gonna be a stream ending. Oh no wait, wait there we go. My PNG tuber is not responding as, as much as you should. How about now? There we go. There we go. Delay sensitivity. We're going to lower a little bit. There. Gotta have that jumping around and talking for me. But um, I have a, a thing for all of these characters um, with the cat that is my main thing. You know, like Sandra Sides or Inside Out? It is easiest to think of these guys um, as little bits and pesos of myself. So cesium, that's how you guys see me 
I get yeah. who you deal with the most is cesium and prokaryote because I feel like cesium is a people pleaser. You know, it's the I'm performing right now. I'm trying to do a cool thing on Minecraft or or whatever. And prokaryote's much less of a people pleaser. But anyways, I I'm gonna do full sets of these guys, and I want that to be my stream starting screen. I don't I don't actually know. Uh, then you're so right. I, I have absolutely done that. I never end up really get anything though because um, I don't know. I, I hate having too many things on my phone. But absolutely, I like also a weird one in um, the Play Store. I like seeing reading people's reviews on random games. Not because I'm interested, but because people's reviews on games are super funny sometimes. You know, um, cesium sides basically. It's like Inside Out or Sandra Sides. They're just little bits and pieces. Um, all the same person, but um, not 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 quite. And, like I have all of these. These are just I was starting sketches, and I was like, wait a second, this was going to be a teapot, a teacup with a frog in it. Maybe maybe I'll draw a teacup with a frog in it. Because you know, for, sometimes a frog just wants to be in a teacup, and sometimes that's what you got to do. And. and I'm not going to be doing anything finished work. I'm not going to finish anything. I'm just going to sketch tonight. Because like I said, it's been a week. I hope you've all had a good week, though. I hope it was a good... What is it? Saturday? Is today Saturday? Sunday? It's the 18th. All I know is it's the 18th. I don't actually know what that means. Is that a Saturday or a Sunday? <laughs> I don't know. But I guess it doesn't super affect me. It's Saturday? Okay, well, good to know. I hope you all have had a wonderful Saturday and have a lovely Sunday to look forward to. I, I hope that it is a nice weekend for all rejuvenating. Is that what weekends are? Rejuvenating? Chill? Restful? I don't know. Weekendy. Whatever it is that you do with weekends. I hope it's a good one. There we go. I have my overview of how I'm supposed to move around. There we go. Oh, it's been a long time since I've done a sketch stream. I keep doing Minecraft streams, which are great, don't get me wrong, but also. I do other things sometimes. I have a hobbies. I have a life. I guess streaming is a hobby. Streaming count as a hobby? Given how rarely I do it, I'm not actually sure. But I feel like fro frogs belong in teacups. Maybe not. Frogs do belong in teacups. I feel like maybe most of us belong in teacups. Have you ever just kind of wanted to like go sit in a teacup and and consider life? Like, yeah, I guess you could do that in the bathtub, but that's much less satisfying than in a teacup. I feel like the head is too big. Teacups are very inviting. And there's so many different kinds of teacups, you know. A teacup for every occasion. A teacup for when you're sad. A teacup for when you're happy. A teacup for when you're procrastinating and should go to bed. Or do your work, you know. But is it really truly procrastination if I'm streaming, you know? Busy being productive here.
and sometimes you, you just gotta help a frog be in a teacup. What else could I put in a teacup? Are there things that are just very, like, ah yes, you'd fit in a teacup. Dogs? Dogs in a teacup? I could see a dog in a teacup. It'd have to be a very small dog. You know. Teacup Pomeranian. A teacup Pomeranian in a teacup. That's inspired. I like it. That's kind of a weird frog. I'm not sure I like it. And I feel like a the frog needs a tiny little spoon. one of those fancy spoons with something on the end. You know, just make it a smiley face. Teacup frog. I'm sure there's a little frog be grabbing something. Nah, maybe not. A little frog in a teacup. Teacup frog. Let's make a teacup. Hungry and don't want to get up? Yeah. Let's do a different kind of teacup. Let's just do one of the little round ones, you know. Hungry and you don't want to get up. But like the hunger is within you. But like the bag of chips is a couple rooms away. I feel that. I didn't really give it a saucer to that one. This one can have a saucer. Teacup and saucer. There we go. I should mix up my stream music every now and then, but I just love the Hollow Knight soundtrack. So I don't think I will. Why bother? when you've got Hollow Knight. Pomeranian. What does a Pomeranian look like? This kind of looks like a ball, doesn't it? Very fluffy dog. I think I'm going to have to actually look up what a picture of a Pomeranian looks like. Don't they have, like, little beady eyes or something? Cotton ball with legs. <laughs> oh, are they all ball? Now I gotta look it up. I, I, how do I look it up? Alright, let, let's just check. Oh, gosh. Pomeranian. Oh my gosh, it is a cotton ball with legs. Oh, what a fuzzball. Wow. Okay. Kind of like this. And I got a big curly tail. Fuzz. Fuzz. Wait, do they have pointy ears? They've got kind of pointy ears.
maintain some sense of, of body proportion. snoot booty uh, beady eyes oh they kind of do have beady eyes wow I feel like the snoot is too big yeah the snoot is way too big you know what that's what the lasso tool is for we're going to just make it smaller. Wonderful. Can, do you think I can make that eye cool on the second try? I don't think I can. Oof. <laughs> alright, alright, let's try it. doesn't really look like a dog. It kind of looks like it could be a cat. How do I make this more dog-like? Eyebrows. Little eyebrows. Alright, what do you gotta do? You gotta do a bleh. Fluffy. Should probably make that round because I'm spiky. There we go. It's fine. No, it's just a ball. It's not even pointy. Wow, how do you do this? Loof. 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 gonna call that good. It's a Pomeranian a teacup. Well, it's a dog of some kind. It's it's a fluff. I don't know if it actually looks like a Pomeranian. They have weirdly big mouths for their body size. Maybe that's just the pictures I'm looking at. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna call that good. Hmm. We're gonna, we're gonna call that good. We've got a Pomeranian with a teacup in a teacup. I should probably decorate the teacup a little bit more. I've got my frog with a stripe. Can't have the Pomeranian feeling left out. I'll just put a little paw print on it. That's what we want. All right. Okay. We got a 
Pomeranian. I feel like Pomeranian is taking up a lot of space. Let's put Pomeranian. There we go. What else should we put in teacups? Let's make another teacup and maybe it'll be obvious itself. This one a little fancy. I guess if it's a teacup, it's always fancy, you know. This one's going to be particularly fancy. I just want to draw teacups. I don't know why we're drawing teacups, but we are. Let's make sure we have a nice little loop of wood. There we go. Let's go footsy. I'm sure there's different words for the different uh, parts of a teacup. You know, like wrist or it's like this is handle, arm. I don't know. I wonder if you guys can hear my partner in the background. I hope not. Playing the game. Ooh, okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna pretend that I. And proportional with things, and we're gonna make it proportional. Whoops. There we go. There we go. Okay, we'll just call that good. Wonderful. Portions of this one are just rough. Rough. Okay. Let's put a let's put a goat. A, hmm. a frog and a dog and a I mean, maybe maybe I should do that. Let's have you tipped inward. Because I'm Apparently care about proportions now. Why are you just so weird? Why are you weird? Oh wow, that's even worse. Hmm. Okay. Better. 
think maybe it's seeing something on its back. Hmm. Let me just get a quick solution out. All these teacups, I kind of feel like I need a. Fuck, I keep wanting to mess with this, it just doesn't look right. Sure, let's go back. Okay, teacup, teacup. Let's do How about a cake? Slice of cake. Because you need cake with your tea sometimes, even if there is a pomerade with a frog in it. so beautiful. Sometimes you just gotta put things in teacups, you know? And that's what you do when you decide you're going to be irresponsible and not do things you're supposed to be doing is you put them in teacups. Me tomorrow? I'm gonna be a stressed person. But me my, right now? I'm chill as chill can be. Because I'm putting things in teacups. Teacups, and I guess maybe this is why I have tea on the mind, is I do in fact have a uh, cup of tea in front of me. I have peach tea with some milk and some brown sugar in it, and I'm going to be honest, it's wonderful. I highly recommend, if you're, if you're the tea drinking sort of person, peach tea. Peach tea with honey. It's a good one. It's a good one. I feel like I want this one to be more slim. some little gold filigree put along there. I 
calculate should remain white. Is that a nice red? Red stripe. Generic red stripe. my color consistency. I kind of want to make it green, but I feel like green cake is maybe uh, not nice. Have a great time at dinner, Jack. Thank you for dropping by. I hope it's a good one. I'm just going to chill here for a bit and sketch, you know? But have a good one. Thank you for dropping by. chocolate, you know, make it a darker. There we go. So I'm thinking maybe It's a nice little warm up. Some weird shapes in there. Well, let's let's. How do I how do I bring the green in over here? Let's give him a yellow eye. There we go. Now I have a frog and a teacup. And a, things in teacups. It's a good thing to have. There we go. What are we gonna call this? What are we gonna call this? Let's call this things in teacups. I'm so great at naming things. Alright. And for things in te teacups, what else should I add? I feel like that's that's a good warm up. Now I can actually do something a little bit more. Let me let me add a little bit more filigree over here. Hmm. I feel like this would be like a little patterns teacup, you know, have that little flex over here. This one would be too. I'd like to flex a wrap. Spots from the puppy, you know. Done. We'll work on something a little else. Now, these guys. I could work on my my chat me and YouTuber. I'm gonna make this more fluffy. I'm not sure I actually want to right now. Let's see, what else could we do? Honestly, I really want to work on this. But I think that's what we're gonna do now. Let's work on prokaryotes since I've got the cesium me and YouTuber. Let's see. Where are my lines? There's the cat. Let's work on this. Let's get my colors all... Oops. 
There we go. flowy outer one cape. Maybe we'll have the cape flow out a little bit more. I don't know. Let's check that color. This is why you name your layers, kids. Where is that? This is somewhere. Okay, it doesn't matter. Where is it? It does go away, right? It does. It's got to be in one of these layers. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. What do we want to do? Let's do the tail. Tails are easy. Nice and fun, too. I like the big smoothing, um, big smooth movements the tails allow. music is too much, let me know and I'll turn it back down. I don't want to just turn it up if I'm not going to be talking much. space. There's a lot of opportunity for bluff. An easy thing to add in here. There we go, that's nicer.
let's see. super clean right there. Let's see. Oops. It's not messing my color palette here. Do subtractive since I can't seem to do an additive. There we go. A little bit better.
We'll worry about full hands later. Not good with that right now. I haven't decided if I want them to look more puppet-like than anything else. Look a little bit more disjointed than an actual person. It makes sense. Also. Uh, more fluid-looking body forms. It's just better art in general. Unless you're very intentional about uh, making things look less so. Whoops. Whoops. Where did I just put things? Should I give them boots? Maybe I should. Because my PNG tuber has a much more faded into the background sort of outline to their face, right? But this one far less defined right here with this face than the face of my PNG tuber. And when I ended up making orange and green, I made them, I tried to make them match, but also. I'm not sure whether to keep this very faded out amorphous. Probably not, right? Because this is supposed to be more detailed and like they have full body limbs and they're not just little nubbins and such. So probably I should keep that. Let's keep the full head. For now. For now. I'll probably do some highlighting and such. But for now, we're going to give them fully defined heads and see how it looks. squeaking in the background, if you can hear that. That is my rat running on the wheel. He says that it is uh, not time to sleep anymore. It's time to run on the wheel, I guess. Quiet little dudes, usually.
want to do a bigger cloak or the lesser cloak. I kind of like maybe the lesser cloak. Maybe maybe we'll flare it out a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna do this in sections. And this one is a behind to tail section. This is behind lots of things. I don't have to be quite as careful. That's nice. Okay. This section is also a behind, so we'll just include it here. can bulge out a little bit more. Yep, getting that transition is going to be a bit of a pain. sketch has the fully defined shoulder. I do like that. Okay, I probably should have done this in pieces as well. Here we are. should be by itself. And let's check on very rounded there. They are both very rounded as well. We, we might not stick to that. We might make you guys. There we go. 
especially since this is the one that has the scarf on the inside. So I feel like it makes sense that the fabric would be pulled down. Up. Why is my tube hurt? There we go. Tuber doesn't always, uh, I guess me being quiet for too long, and little Tuber says, Oh, we're not gonna do anything now. So I've got two different screens, and they have slightly different uh, colors. And so I glance over to look over what. Uh, drawing looks like on my second screen. It looks a little funny sometimes, because it literally looks like a different color palette <laughs> than what I think I'm using. It amuses me. I wonder what color it looks like to you guys, like mulberry sort of purple, or uh, more magenta, kind of pinkish purple.
foot. I just copy paste that foot over there. Is that allowed? Let's try. That should be better. And we put the tail back. We can't tell it's gone. And we save, because we are a good person and remembers to do that occasionally. Alright. Here. That needs to be filled in. That needs to be filled in. Now, cat goes here. Cat is black. It is a black cat. In fact, it's this black. If you didn't know, there's many kinds of black.
dear. Have I been muted this entire time? Uh, I think I have, but that's right. I wasn't making all that much commentary. Perhaps it's better that way. I'm just going to mute myself half the stream. That's okay. I'll deal with that in a second. Oh, did I check to see how a leg looks? It's not a bad leg. It's not a bad leg, all things considered. Okay. And here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Not what I... R. R. There we go. Just to be sure. For my own mental sanity. Okay. Okay, so you can't see arms. You shouldn't be able to see that. What you should be able to see is the fade in the back here. Well, never mind. That's fine. And here. So let's take away all of our lines real quick and see what we look like. Alright, not horrible, not horrible. I should really clean that up. Oops. That layer can go away. Okay, let's see. Hood. Oh, I got so many problems here. Okay, let's do go back. I'm gonna restart my music. How did I do this? Okay, so it's very droopy in my original. It's not quite so droopy here. Should I keep the droop? I kind of liked the droop, but what we don't want... Whoops. Oh, my. This needs to be more clearly from just the inside. Alrighty. Oh, dear. Super loud. Sorry about that. Let's see.
that out. Let's move this out. There we go. There we go. That's pretty nice. We'll make that fluffier. Let's do... here you go. There we go. Let's see, I don't really want to do masks just yet since I'm not totally sure in my lines. We're not going to. should have been on its own layer. We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. There we go. Always check your layers. Hard brush. light color. Just going to ease that out. There we go. Hard brush, that would draw. Whoops. Oops, there we go. That's why masking is helpful, but that's okay. We're not going to actually mask anything until the lines are good. Okay, so we're starting to see the form of our body. We 
even without our lines. And clearly we've got to clean up that leg. But the tail looking very nice. Gotta do something down here. Make that flow a little bit better. Solid get in there. Save real quick. There we go. And Guy night, how's it going? I hope you're having a good one. Let me turn the music down a little bit if I'm going to be doing a lot of talking. But I'm going well. It goes. It goes good. I'm just sleepy and tired. Doing sketching. This is uh, part of... i got to fix that leg. Um, this is part of... I want to make a stream start, starting stream. And... Um, what is it called? Uh, pause screen? What is that called? <laughs> Be right back. Be right back screen. And uh, as a part of that, I'm trying to get some more pictures of my little dudes. You know how it is. The break screen, yeah. So I've got little pictures of my dudes. But um, the problem with generally... Whoops, I'm totally on the wrong layer. The general problem with uh, doing things is like you have to actually do them, which is such a scam. If you want things, you have to do them. How dare I have want things and have to do them? <laughs> Real unfortunate. So we're, oh gosh, so we're doing them, but not really, because there are other things I should be doing if I was a good responsible adult that I'd be doing that I'm totally not doing right now. Uh, but it's okay. How do I how do I make this look fine? I don't know how to draw humans. Humans hard. Humanoids. I guess they're not really a human, are they? Humanoids hard. But I thought I would do some sketching to at least work on this a little bit. Oh, uh, I'm really tired. And if I were a good person, I'd go to bed. You know how it is. Very hard to say. That's the way to do it at night. Like, seriously. Um, anatomy, a lot easier. They don't have these weird little upright joints. Why is this happening? Okay. I need my lines back. Um, yeah, upright joints. Also, weight distribute. Oops, that was the wrong thing. To uh, Weight distribution. On, on these humanoid things. Super weird. How do, how do you make weight? Emotion. This is totally the wrong one. Where, where did I do it? Also, I should probably name my layers. But where did it go? There it is. Um. But yeah. That's how it be. How, how does it be with you, Knight? Having <laughs> apparently more beds? Yeah. They do make more sense. I, I to full heartedly agree. You know, maybe instead of having to do a lot, maybe I should give them boots so that this has. Let's see how they'd look with boots. Because then I wouldn't have to make this all these straight lines. New Ant Man movie. Was it any good? Is it worth my going? I've been a little judgy towards Marvel recently. But hey, if you say it's a good movie, maybe I should go. 
Let's see how boots would look. With my steel toe. does a lot of phase four stuff. Oh, that's good. I would say I used to be super invested, but they kind of have been losing me recently. But I, I used to be like every single one. I couldn't name exactly when they started losing me. Could not tell you. But was it a good like set up and story aside, did you feel like did you feel like things happened and um, it was worthwhile, like fun character stuff? I hope movie, it's good. Yeah, Th things have not really been the same. But uh, if if you're saying it's a good movie, maybe I should maybe I should go check it out. You know, I feel like boots would solve all the problems I'm having with these legs. Because then I can just put, like, folds and stuff. And then they'd have boots. Let's see. Here, let me give the tail back and see how we feel about boots. That's not it. That's it. And then let me turn all of my lines back up a little bit. Humanish. How do we feel about boots? I kind of like it. Maybe though, maybe I only like it because it would save me the trouble of having to make these legs look okay. <laughs> boots. Is that a bad reason to want to add boots? Dig the boots? All right, cool. And it's not just me, you know, because then, then I don't have to, then I could put a cute little design on them, you know? And that's less work than doing the good thing, which is uh, just draw the, the feet and the shoes and the... That's so much work. Wow. Yeah. New thing. They're all going to have boots. Uh, the rest is not clothed. They, they do not have the clothing. I will show you what they look like. This, this is the beans. These are the beans. And these are the other beans. So they don't, none of them wear clothing, but I'm doing more detailed characterization here. Let me, let me show you. So I've got cesium, you know, and I was going to, but I could give them boots too, you know. Um, and I've got this one, which is, you know, these guys who are new over here. Whoops, I keep doing that. Here, we're going to close that. I'm oh, sure I'll save it. Um, so these two, these two. And so th there's my orange guy. And there's the green guy from back over here. Green guy. And there is the blue, blue. So cesium, you know, that's who my PNG tuber is. And that's who this one, right? But they're all little blobs, you know? I call them shadows, because I kind of think of them as shadows. They're, but they're, like, blob-shaped and vaguely humanoid, but I was going to give them all slightly more defined um, thing. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like them. I was going to give them all slightly more defined stuff, and, like, fingers and toes and stuff, instead of, like, just a blob, because they is, it's a blob. Uh, and I'm good with blob, but also they can have defined um but uh the thing with define and they're all interacting with the cat right the cat is um is my mate it's my sauna yeah the black cat with the eye yeah that's my sauna oh i was drawing teacups um earlier <laughs> uh as a warm-up um but yeah i xed out the cat didn't i i did okay anyways yeah, so the cat is my sauna, so I was drawing each of them with the sauna and what they kind of represent to me, if that makes sense. If you're familiar with, like, Inside Out or Sander Sides, that's kind of what they are. Like, they're just a different aspect of me. Uh, and they're 
different aspects of the cat. And so I was trying to draw each of them. So like this one, this one kind of represents my anxiety, my fear. It's just kind of uh, scary. This one right here, I can, I can do the actual one. So this one, this is my anxiety and my fear and just kind of stress about the world. Um, Cesium, who is my, my normal. Uh, this is like kind of how I view streaming. <laughs> Uh, this is my people pleaser. I'm here to entertain. I'm here to be happy and make day happier. Um, Procurio is my alternative to that, which is like, I am here to have fun. And it's not actually about you guys. It's about me. You know, yeah, exactly. Cesium's the performer. And it's the performance of uh, this, you know, what I'm doing now. Um, Procurio is the alternative to that, where it's like, you know what? Yeah. This is my stream. This is, I'm going to do what I want to do and screw you guys and and don't screw with me you know so that's I guess the defense on that and this one is hard to describe but have you ever experienced imposter syndrome it's like where you know you're really good at something um but you're not and you actually know nothing and you're never going to be good. Yeah, so this one is the opposite of that. So this is anxiety and fear and a lot of imposter syndrome and I will never be good at anything. This is the overconfidence. I am God, actually. <laughs> um, I do know what I'm doing. I am the most knowledgeable in the room or the most skilled at this particular thing. And yes, I'm good at it. And it's okay to be good at things, I guess. So these two are a lot more personal. Uh, views these two whoops these two are a lot more how I perform on stream I guess uh, and I wanted to have each of them since they're all kind of like Sander sides and they're all kind of like inside out they're all a part of me they're all the same thing so I wanted to have each of them interacting with uh, the cat which is my sauna sorry these are all rough sketches um, kind of showing what they represent oh I thank you Knight. Uh, and I wanted each of them to be a different version of like a holding screen, like stream starting, stream ending. Uh, these two were going to be um, uh, be right back, basically. These two. And then this was going to be stream starting, probably. And this will be stream ending, probably. Um, I don't know. I, don't, I haven't quite worked it out yet. But yeah, that's, that's the idea. Um, but that does mean that since this is blob blob is what i'm going off of um for the more detailed designs i really don't have much but they don't have clothing really they're just little shadows you know they're all little shadows of me um and and uh and so yeah they can have boots i don't know if they're gonna have other clothes i suppose maybe if i give them boots maybe they should have other clothing <laughs> they're just little dudes exactly um but like i was going to try to have them all be basically just naked blobs, but if I give them all boots, that would be super funny. <laughs> if they're wearing nothing but cloaks and boots and scarves. <laughs> Is that too much? Is that weird? <laughs> but then it means I can have some more contrast down here and not just have them be blobbish. Where where the other ones go? There we go. I keep expecting that to be this. But um a very funny addition, yeah. Just boots, you know. You know, just you gotta protect the toes. And they can have, like, all different boot designs, I suppose. I'll have to think of how to differentiate, because I feel like pointy is kind of go, gotta go with green. Right, because their whole design is pointy, except for the heart. This is all curvy design, except for the eyes. And these two are, yeah. Anyways, they're, they're all parallels of each other and what they represent. Contrast on the lower half, yeah. And maybe I could give them like a belt or something. I had a different version of cesium for a uh, for a SMP that was kind of cesium as an lay. Let me see if I can't pull that up. There it is. There. Oh God, it's so old. <laughs> but yeah, so I gave cesium as an lay. I was trying to do a little lay cesium uh, bean. Uh, no, this was for a different one. This was for... I do have a Grim SMP, though I'm bought purple in that one. Um, this is for... Jeez, what's it called? No Signal? Um, I haven't played there recently. I haven't played much of anywhere recently, honestly. I've been so busy. 
Uh, my Grim SMP is this one. Whoops, if it'll open. Please open. Uh oh, it's going to open like two or three times. Open. Oh, it's thinking so hard. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to open you manually. Oh, there it is. Okay, so yeah, I did do a purple for that, or I did do still blue for that one. Um, but there we go. Um, yeah, so I was trying to do a shulk design, but also the still. I just kind of like blobs. They're just blobs. Um, and I was gonna be a mean person. So I probably should have done purple, but like even here, you see, in my original design, I just kind of had, yeah, if I'm a shulk, I can change colors. And I have all of them <laughs> right here. I don't remember what I was going to have these two be. I think it was mostly I had to have their, uh, I had to have enough space to have other colors. And, uh, but uh, there's that one, there's this one. So I could add like belts to all of them. A copy of the sheet. Oh, there's such a cute sheet. I really enjoyed doing this, trying to figure out like what to add. Um, but it's such a cute sheet. Grim did such a great job with that. Uh, I don't know if I still have... Let me see. If I have... Grim. I do! I do. I still have that one up. Um... <laughs> Oh gosh, now I, now I want to go play Minecraft. Um, but I, I don't think I ever actually streamed Grim SMP on here. I just have it set up. But yeah, it's super. It's such a cute thing. Grim did such a great job. Um, and then the LA was for Yokai SMP. And then for. I'm doing something totally different. I was doing an Angel for. Uh, wait, no, hang on. LA is for No Signal SMP. And then this is for. Uh, who am I right now? Angel on Yokai SMP. Uh, but I'm kind of falling apart. That's my later. Look, I was trying to make a PNG tuber. Uh, but yeah, they're just little. They're just little guys. They're just little beans. They're super cute. Um, but I probably should finish this design at some point. I never got around to it. Yeah, I can save that. Um, and this, I should really hop back onto the Grim SMP. It was so much fun, and I really liked being a shulk, just having giant pockets. It's kind of all it felt like, is I just had big pockets. Um, but yeah, so, so that's what they all are. Uh, but yeah, maybe maybe they can all have belts and... Uh, oh jeez, what layer am I on? Yeah, I'm good. Maybe they can all have belts, and... Uh, belts and boots. Belts and boots and belts and boots. Give them all little pouches. Mod update? Oh no. Oh no, that's gonna be such a pain. My my Minecraft doesn't always like mod updates. It takes me a week or so to figure out belts and boots and belts and boots and belts and boots. Um, to figure out Yokai's uh, mod updates that, that just break my computer every time. So I will I will try to swim through the mod update uh, and, and figure out if my thing is gonna let me do that without freaking out. For a while there, I couldn't stream and play Minecraft with mods, and uh, turned out I just had to change my memory allocation. I totally might hit you up for that. I, it was it was just killing me to not be able to do anything there for a while. It was a memory problem, and uh, uh, finally got that figured out. Dude, I feel like that needs more motion to it. Maybe I can be like a giant belt bucket instead of a... Maybe I can do like layered. I still want it to be very androgynous. I don't want it to look like they have a skirt at any point. Um, so I'll have to think about adding belts to everybody. But I like the, I like the idea a lot. Because it worked well with the LA. But, uh, they do kind of, like, have 
corset thing. What is it? Those lower um, things. Pull that down. Make it look like a, a wrap. Instead of a full belt on everybody. Maybe. Exactly. Because they are not gender. They are just beings. They are little shadows on a wall. Who decided to put on clothing. For some reason. How shadows can wear clothing? I don't know. Ask them. They just wear clothing sometimes. And sometimes they don't wear clothing. Uh, but yeah, I want them to be very amorphous in general. They just do. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes you decide to get dressed. And sometimes you don't. Honestly, you know, sometimes you decide to just lay on a wall. Because if you're a shadow, I figure that's something you could do. You know, people, we have to decide to sit on counters. Shadows, they can just decide to lay on a ceiling. I guess it would be a... a neat thing to show like what's in their pocket kind of define their characters a little bit more that would be super fun to do yeah it would be hello yes splat on ceiling head ceiling I don't know <gasps> I'm sorry I keep yawning and the sleepy is upon me Maybe it's the Hollow Knight music. Let me give them little belts. I like the idea of little pouches for keeping all of your worldly goods, which I assume can't be many. But I love the idea of like. Remember Peter Pan, where he lost he lost his shadow and he has to chase it around and get it back, and it's like shown to be like a part of him, but also not really a part of him. And he has a whole conversation with his shadow. I like that idea. So they're kind of they're they're all just little shadows. Well, I guess the rest of the design is pretty round. Oof. That's why you do sketching big out. Worry about what it looks like later. of a belt have it all be stitched on or something. That would be funny. All this with stitches. Excuse to make laces or untied jokes. Actually, I don't even have to have them be symmetrical. I could have one of them be like wrapped boots. Hmm. Now, just for contrast right now, let's put everything pink. We can decide what color we actually want it to be. Okay, maybe they get to stay pink. Cause that's that's actually not too terrible. 
can change the opacity down a little bit. Like, see, that's that's not bad. I feel like if I'm gonna have boots, then they should be pretty stark, like pretty stark difference. But yeah, ultimately it's a later co later concern. But I do like that. Let's try to put boots on everybody else. Let's save. I haven't, like, cleaned up anything on Cesium yet. Let's try adding boots. I feel like Cesium's a button person. I have lots of buttons. This is a be a looser, not actually body fitting. Actually, since Cesium's got such a large scarf, maybe a very thin belt. I'm just doing ill-fitting and thin. <laughs> All right, the paler colored boots kind of make it look like socks, though. <laughs> So oh, maybe, maybe that won't be a keeper. Running around in belts and socks. Anyway. I feel like here we've got a very sharp and pointy design. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hard stream is for, for. Oh no, now you must go draw and put the things in your head, not in your head. I feel. <laughs> go forth, night, draw. Like that whole pose I gotta work on. This one I'm good with though. We're gonna fix the ears before I actually. For now. Actually, it'd be super funny if this one, confidence and all, is like tennis shoes instead of boots. Ah, uh, backgrounds are hard. Backgrounds are hard. This is a procrastination stream, so I can't actually encourage you to go do that though. Nice. I hope the I hope the Valentine's piece was a fun one at least. I always like holiday pieces. It's a it's a nice uh, jump out of the normal, you know. Okay, I feel like this one it's just got to be tennis shoes. It's just super funny if it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no holiday pieces are awesome like that. It's always really nice, like, releasing them and seeing everyone else's holiday pieces. It's like, oh, I love that take on this. How would I do a belt for you or so? Actually, I feel like since this doesn't really a cloak, and it's more of a shawl, maybe I should just have it come down a little bit further and you never see a belt for you. I like that. And just goodness, how do I make a green nice? I don't know if 
felt right. Yeah. Yeah, no, I getcha. One of my complaints about Valentine's Day stuff is they never have, like, friend love or gal, like, gal pal sort of not, uh, like, my adoration and love for my friends sort of thing. I found your own. Hey, awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad. Those can be so much fun. Uh, I feel like this one's color is going to be an issue. That's okay. Sketchy. They're each gonna have to have unique the boot seeds, boot boots. But, uh, except for I feel like this one, we just gotta do Converse. Whoops. Like it'd just be super funny if they all had cool fancy boots, except for one Converse. It'd be super funny. Okay, back to where. So prokaryotes boots. What are your boots gonna look like? <sighs> Yawn. Again, I'm sorry. <sighs> Different shoes based on the trait? Absolutely. Um. Yeah. Hmm. How, how do I... Getting work done. Shoes and belts. I feel like C's just gotta be the most fancy since that's performer and, and people pleaser and gonna be out there. Prokaryote is not. More workish boots. Ooh, oh gosh, I'm still yawning. Ah. I'm sorry, Knight. I think I'm gonna have to call it a night. I am, I am tired and I cannot focus. My, my eyes keep wanting to close. So I'm gonna save that. Thank you, thank you for the boots and the, the idea. That was that was super fun. I think that that's gonna be good. And I'm excited to see how it ends up. Um, it'll be a while before I'm done with all of these and, and actually have them made. But uh, I, I much appreciate. Um, I'm going to throw you, I don't think I have any friends stream. Maybe I do, maybe I do. We'll do a teeny tiny raid over to Villix, because I don't think... How do I how do I do this raid? Vil... Rix? Vil Rix is someone I met pretty recently, but I really like her. They're pretty chill. And, uh, you know, fun fun stuff. And I feel like it's, it's polite to raid people. Um, because I don't know. Because raiding is good. See, this is a great situation if I had a stream ending screen. But I could just ramble about and uh do that <laughs> thanks thanks hey have a great one I'll, I'll see if i can't go out and see the movie the the ant the new ant movie uh, but i'm i'm gonna start the raid now goodbye have a great night raid has been created you and i hey thanks i appreciate it. you and i are gonna go hang out with bill goodbye goodbye ending stream.